Essentially, the Ashgates are kind of a little beacon of civility and creative endeavour here in the uh, sleepy hamlet of Farnham Town. It was started as a painter's cooperative. Local artists came together with the intention of helping the public within Farnham and beyond understand the creative process. There's many different things we think about when we choose artists and many different things we, we think about when we're curating an exhibition. So I suppose if we're inspired by something, first of all, we'll decide to go ahead and, and choose it. But at the end of the day, the piece has to speak to me. I have to hear it talking. For the price of, you know, a fairly average widescreen TV, you could come away from this place with an absolutely bespoke and beautiful piece of craft work that would nourish you for decades and decades to come. Um, and that's the kind of choice that people have the opportunity to engage in when, in when an establishment like this simply exists. Our challenge, of course, is to get them through the door. My, my message is really, when I, see, when, I, when I do encounter people, just sort of check the place out. See what's there, keep your eyes open, and go with your heart. There are objects here that will speak to you. There are paintings here that will just move you. Um, make some choices to take objects and paintings and artefacts into your life that will nourish you instead of ephemera that will fade and end up in the dump. Starting with that small group of artists to becoming something that then encompassed artists beyond Farnham to becoming now well known within the field of fine art as a gallery that sells some of the very best work that is made, not only in the UK, but actually from other countries now around the world. And we are here primarily for educational purposes. We're here to support the creative process in all its meanings. We like to show um, selection and variety within disciplines so that the customer the audience decides what they think is the best. The gallery is such an open and inviting place that anybody can come in and anybody can enjoy art and craft and anybody can participate. People can come along to our educational events, they can come along to our exhibition preview nights, they can participate in the own art scheme which we provide, which is an interest-free loan which enables people to buy art. We try as much as possible to keep developing our partnerships with organisations such as the Farnham Maltings, the University of Creative Arts and the Craft Study Centre and wider with other local potteries and other local charitable trusts and creating quality in terms of arts and crafts education. It's such a wonderful thing to be the director of the New Ashgate Gallery because there's such pride and there's such legacy here. We're one of the oldest galleries in the country and we're certainly regarded as the best art and craft gallery in the southeast. Quite a lot of collectors will flock to the new Ashgate for selection, for quality, um, and for the, for the whole choice, for the democratic view of work. We, we don't determine what a specific style is or what a specific trend is within the art or the craft world. We, we don't, you know, dictate fashions. What we do is we try and exhibit the reflection of what is happening creatively with artists and with craftspeople in the UK. So it's an honest reflection of the best quality of work. And the detail with which we work is, I think, second to none.